Well, it's January and it's time to see what's going on in the garden. This is my uh, tomato bed and you know it's cold out so tomatoes aren't doing so good. So it's time to do a little bit of uh, changing up the plants. So I've got my fava beans growing in here. And they're all about six inches high. Might be a little bit early to, to plant them, but they seem to be coming up. As long as the rabbit doesn't get in here and nip them down and the birds don't get at them, they should do well. I planted uh, quite a few more in here than actually came up. So well, there's another little one that's coming up a little bit, a little bit slow here. Look at that little guy right there, just barely poking out of the ground. Got a whole bunch of them in through here. Now these fava beans, they get to be about uh, four, maybe even five feet tall. And they're really valuable in reintroducing the nitrogen to the soil. So if you leave them go, then you can harvest the, harv the fava beans and, and get a good crop out of it. But uh, even if you decide not to harvest them, they're beneficial to improving the quality of the soil in this area. Uh, a lot of the legumes will add nitrogen, they fix nitrogen in their root system. So uh, it's, they call it a cover crop. It's a valuable thing to do. And uh, some people don't like the fava beans, but I do. And I especially like them raw. You know, I come out here and I eat them in the garden when they start producing. And, you know, cooked, they're a little bit bitter, but when they're raw, they're fresher. And uh, I, I like them a lot. So. Don't forget your cover crops. Now here over with, we've got a lot of winter plants that are coming up. We've got a lot of Swiss chard. You know, all these things that are growing in here are, are cold weather plants. So there's a lot that you can do even when the garden gets really cold. Okay, here's some more cold weather stuff. There you can see I've got some spinach that's coming up. It's uh, not coming up quite as prolifically as I'd like it to. Um, actually, I had quite a few more of them coming up over here, and they've disappeared. Uh, you've got this bird netting on here. I'm wondering what's getting in there anyway. Got some spinach right there. And something has been chewing on it. Last week, there was spinach coming up all over the place. So, what do we do? There's a gap in the netting here. Pull that over. Maybe that might be part of it. I can't imagine the birds getting up underneath that though. Is it insects? Well, might be. Might be a number of little things. Sometimes you gotta come out in the garden and look at this stuff at nighttime to find out what's active and what's chewing on your plants. Got a lot of little lettuce plants coming up in here. Uh, it's time to put more seeds out. I put a lot and that's, that's all that sprouted. There's uh, other plants over there in the back. We've got the, uh, the red veins in it. That's sorrel. Um, not one of my favorites, but it's a plant that uh, some people really like. We tried some and it seems to be working. And the onions and the garlic, they're all coming up just fantastic. This whole bed here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a while, but you know what? The nice thing about onions is you can put them in the ground and you can harvest them at any time. You can eat the greens and you can also wait until the bulbs produce. So we planted them in different stages. Some of them were smaller bulbs and some of them were actually planted from seed in here. This whole area over on this side, this is all garlic. Looks a little bit different than the onions, but uh, boy, I can sure smell it. Oh, it smells great. I can't wait till they get a little bit bigger.